Hi everyone, it's Pam at Pink Dragonfly Wings, and we are here with another way to use up those 6x6 six six paper pads. So, I'm on a roll. <laughs> so, we got our stuff all out here, and this is our prototype. Let me put this out of the way. And this is our prototype here. I don't know if you can see this. But it is just a simple little, oh, we have to take the paper clip off, a simple little envelope made from two sheets of 6x6 six six paper. I've put a couple of little cards in here for journaling cards. And I haven't put anything in the back, but you certainly could, you could tear you know, something and put that in there. That would be kind of cool, actually. Let's see if we can tear this. It's a little big to fit in there, so let's see what we can do. Maybe we can ink up the edges a little bit. sides. It's kind of ragged, but this is some um, handmade paper that I have. I did not make this. I bought this, and uh, um, I like to put it in my, my journals, and it's just kind of cool. But you know me in white space. I don't do too good in the white space department. And then, uh, since we have some flowers on here, I don't know if I, seems like I have some more of those left. Let's see if we can, yep, right here. And we can maybe just put a little piece, a little flower, right down here. That's a little green one. It kind of matches the, the green. So we could put that on there. Alrighty, and it does stick, but <clears throat> I am going to put some glue on it anyway. I think I'll use the the Fabri-Tac glue just because um, sometimes the adhesive on these little stickers, and of course I've had these for forever and a day, and sometimes it loses its little sticky. So I'm going to put just a little bit of extra on here. And then we'll position this right down here in this corner. Now then over here on the front and everywhere I put these little, um, these little sunflowers and I have an extra so I think, actually I have a few extras. But I think I'll put one right there just to, let's put these back in here so I don't forget what I was doing. Put that back over there. I'll put, <clears throat> now these are not sticky, so they're going to have to have a little glue. And we'll put that right there in the center. And then I'm not going to put anything on the back, so you could certainly use that as a writing tool, or a writing tool, blah, blah, blah. writing space. And then we can put this right back here. We could turn it around so we could see the flower, but since I put it on that side, I don't really like that. So we'll put it right here. Have a little space back there. Have a little something in our in our pocket because you can't have a pocket without something in it. And there we go. And then this is just a little button and tie that I made. And there we go. So that's what we're gonna make today. We're gonna use these two pieces of paper, and this came from um, 
let's see who makes this oxford perfect prints it is called forever in time paper craft collection and that's all i know anyway i've had this forever and ever it seems like i bought whole bunch of these one time for like 50 cents a piece and they've been in my stash forever so it's time to use some of those up so what we're going to do here we're going to start here we are going to use our <coughs> excuse me our scoreboard and i think that i will put the dark one on bottom and the light one on top. So the light one being the top one, we're going to fold it over at two inches down, or two inches up, at two inches. We're going to fold it over so that it will fold like, like such. And then we're just going to do this one in half at three inches, since this is a three, or a six by six piece of paper. We're just going to um, cut it down the middle. Okay. So we're going to fold this over. And let's, I don't know where my good foam folder is, but this one will work. Get those creases down really nice and smooth. Well, let's put that right there. We may need it again in a minute. Now then, what we're going to do is um, we're going to put, oh, that didn't actually come out very even, but oh well. And we're going to, let's see here, this right here is about midway. So we're going to cut us a couple of little notches there. Alrighty. Now then, before we put anything together, we are going to ink around the edges. And if y'all have watched me before, you know I really am a heavy inker. <laughs> Not a heavy drinker, but I am a heavy inker. And I like, I like those edges. To be dark and defined, so and eat this stuff all the way around, and then we're gonna do this fold right here so that it looks like that. Okay, then we will do this side, this part, and it isn't folded exactly even, but since they're not going to be on the same side of the paper, I don't think that's going to matter too much. So we're going to ink around here on all sides. And turn it over and do the other. There we go. Just ink, 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 ink. All right, there we go. Now, I think that I am going to go right around in here just so that when we see the inside of that, it's not going to be noticeable that, that, that that's white. White paper, you know, I don't like white paper. <coughs> I feel like all white paper should have some cover and color on it. So, so now then, we're going to put this down here. And we're going to kind of estimate. Now, we do need to do the inside of this one, I guess, just because it's going to be showing. And 
and I do want to go ahead and do this. Now then, on this one, we did do some inking on the inside. It's just smoothed out inking. And and that works pretty well. It's just, it is sewn and we are going to sew ours. But I thought that maybe I might, um, I got this little, um, stamp. There we go. And let's see. That is the right direction. And I thought maybe since we are doing an envelope, we might put just a little piece right up here. Just for some interest. Just a little bit of, of uh, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know that I'm ever going to get over this cough. Go ahead and ink up some of the edges of this just because just because I put a few more circles on that than I usually do but that's okay that is quite all right okay so now then I am going to put this right down here and I'm going to glue this just a little bit with a glue stick. I don't usually use glue sticks, but all I want is for this to lay flat. I didn't even cover that up. I want this to lay flat while I stitch around the edge. And I'm just going to glue it there on one side. Okay, so then when we stitch, this side will be down to well let's go ahead and put a little little nub in there just just in case all right now then and we are going to come over here with our sewing machine and try to move it over here i know y'all won't be able to see it too terribly bad but just doing a little zigzag stitch and I'm going to start right here at this fold right here at this fold on the inside I will go around this way back up back up and down okay so bear with me for just a moment and we will get this stitched right here sure we will certainly glue it. You can put uh, lace around it however you want to do. That's entirely up to you. And I have only recently in the last few years started doing some sewing. I've, I've been a sewer my whole life, but um, for some reason I just never made the connection sewing with booking for some reason but I've seen a lot of it being done so 
there we go. We have a nice little zigzag around there. I'm going to cut these strings off simply because they get in the way of trying to put things in and out of our envelope. Okay, so there's our, there's our envelope. And then I'm going to get my ink and go back just a little bit and ink over these stitches just to kind of highlight them a little bit. A little bit of ink on there, kind of dirty it up a little bit. Okay. And we'll put a little bit here on the inside. All right, I apologize so much for the sniffing. Ever since I moved back to Texas, I've had these allergies and allergies and allergies. <coughs> and I just can't get rid of the mucus and the coughing and the, uh, all this stuff. I don't feel bad. I just have this little irritating cough. Okay, so there we go. Now there's our envelope and we're ready to decorate. We can put something back here if we want. Now, on this one, I did make the little closure, but on this one, I found this little, I don't know what you call this, it's a little button for ribbon, and I thought that would be really cute here, and I have some of this sorry, sorry silk, I'm going to cut that off so that nubbin is not right in the middle of our book. And I thought maybe I could run this through here and down here. I got some other buttons just in case, but I thought this is this would be cute. And then I wanted to we need to make that a little longer though, because we're gonna tie this. So we're going to put that just like that, and we're only going to glue the button down. So let's put a little bit of our glue on here. And we will do our best to center it in the center. Okay, let it, let it dry. And then my idea, you know, ideas. And let's, there's the napkin. Kind of seeping out a little bit on the edge. I don't want that. So we're going to pull this around and tie it. Oh, about like a over at the side and then we can tie this right down here at the bottom or you could tie it right over the over the little nubbin the little button <coughs> excuse me tie a little ribbon tie a little bow I can do that. Well, good gracious. Let me take my glasses off. Sometimes I see better up close with my glasses off than I do with them on. There we go. Try that. I think I kind of like it a little higher up. So let's pull it up a little bit more up here. Try to get that centered a little bit better. And there we go. 
And then our little bow will sit right under our button. Okay, so there's our little our little closure for our envelope. Now you could also put a paper clip up here to hold it closed. Whatever a, a, a paper clip with a bow on it or whatever. But I kind of like this, and I think that's gonna gonna work just perfect. All right. So now then, let's get some flowers and see if we can find some really cool pretty flowers in here. I don't have many blue and probably wouldn't have any that blue, that color of blue anyway. So let's go with with something different, strikingly different. Um, That, but maybe this would be better on the back. Okay. And I'm not going to decorate these terribly heavy, heavy uh, because I do want them to remain flat. And these are some little, um, I guess you'd call them cellophane or uh, acrylic acetate. Anyway, I got these, and I think I got them on Wish, and I love these because they're they're kind of subtle. I add just a little bit of color, a little bit of motion, but not a whole lot. Um, let's see what kind of word we can find here. Let's see. I got these words. We don't want an anniversary. Well, that's kind of cool. I got these words from um, Louisa Hansel. She has them for sale in her Etsy shop. Uh, I think the name of her shop is Junk Journal Art. But you can find it on Etsy just by Googling Louisa Heinzel, L-U-I-S-E, and then H-E-I-N-Z-L. And, oops. Put that right there, just to add a little bit of interest <coughs> to the back. Um, I need something else. Um, what about a little sticker like this? And maybe one down here. Mm, I don't like that too many of them. So let's see what else we have in here. Not a lot in my little words here, but I do like this one. And let's see if we can find a pad on here, a little piece. Uh, well, there's actually that one is being used for something else. And I think I had just a little tiny piece over here. And I probably either used it for something else. I think that might be a little much. It might be kind of cool down there, though. We could untie this and put this right down here at the bottom. And give us a little bit of femininity to it this little piece. I love these little pieces of, let's see, let's put it like this. There we go. And, and forgot what I was looking for. 
these scissors are on their last leg. They've been, got so much glue and junk on them. Uh, and here's a little paper clip. It's a little book that I purchased. I think I got these at, I'm not sure where I got these. But you can put this right here. And put that right on the front. Tie our little bow back. with my, oh there it is, my little stamp, and this is some stuff I've had in my stash forever and a day, I don't even know, I don't even remember where I got these, but, I'll put this here on the back, Another thing that I have is I sat and the other day did some some painting of some not painting I didn't paint them I uh, kind of like that but that would have been better over there okay let's see about taking that off oh lovely all right and let's see about putting that on the corner. So we're going to cut this uh, in, a, in a corner type thing. Put that right there. And we'll just go right across here. And it's almost sacrilege to me to to cut doilies. I love them so much. But I have I have bought bunches of them. Now how did I do that? I did it like this. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll put this back on there. I like that a lot better. Gives it a little bit more dimension, a little more texture. There we go. Okay. So there's our little 6x6. Six six. Uses two sheets of paper. Uh, no real cutting. Um, you use the little notch back here. Um, but And the sewing machine. But if you didn't want to sew, you could certainly just glue it together or... Uh, whatever you want to, whatever your normal style is. And decorate accordingly. I'm not going to put um, little cards in here at this point, simply because I am just trying to make some ephemera to go in my stash so that I can have these things to pull when I'm working on a journal. And I want to wait and let the pages and the papers that I put in here and in back here to match the theme of the journal that I'm using. So hopefully that will work. And uh, there we go. There's our little, another use of 6x6 six six papers. Alrighty, there we go. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. I would love to have you on our team. Um, check out my online store, www.pinkdragonflywings, all one word, a Z on the end of wings.com. 
and see what we have. See if there's something in there that you think you need and would love to have. So please share with your friends and come in and join us next time. I'm going to do another envelope with 6 by 6 papers. See you then. Bye-bye.